Oh, it's on a pedestal? All right, and we talk to this guy. So, you have found the Earth Element. You are blessed with much courage and strength for one so young. If your conviction holds strong, head to Mount Chrono. There you'll find a man named Malari. Among the Minish, there is no one more able to repair your sword. If you ask him, I am certain he will reforge your broken Bacori blade. I shall send word to him in advance. Travel safely. You are brave, but there are many evils now in the world. through this door here. It will take you out of the forest quickly. Great Elder, we are in your debt. We shall head for Mount Colonel at once. Uh, and Blurry Researcher of Antiques, I'm also a little bit of an inventor. Due to all the debris here, something that might come in handy. He got a bomb bag. It has ten bombs in it. So he was important. Oops. I see this here and... No, that's for something else. Now, unfortunately, we can't just go back that way to get the, uh... Heart crystal, so we have to keep going forward. And we can just put a bomb down. We got five rupees, that's kind of nice. See what this does. Well, I guess we're blowing up one of the Minish's houses. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it doesn't actually do anything to the house. Hey, look at this kinstone piece. Have you ever seen one like this? You don't know what a kinstone is? I'll tell you what, why don't you come back and see where you can get one, okay? Okay, so that's a kinstone. Uh, fusion thing. We're not gonna do any of that. It's not worth it. Uh, they give you heart pieces and stuff if you have them, so... And that opens up the way back to Castle Town. And now we're in South Hyrule Field, which is nowhere near where we need to be. No. So we're supposed to meet a Minish blacksmith named Malari. Stop at the town of Hyrule before leaving. Yeah, we will. I don't have a bottle. One. Come on, see how many kinstone pieces you can collect. You never know what fusing kinstones will do. We 
don't need to think about pinstones right now. Yeah, this is just talking about Kinstone Fusion. We don't need to know about this because we're not doing Kinstone Fusion stuff. That's way out of our way right now, so... <laughs> Actually, I think... That's how Thyrol field. So that's just over here. Usually it's something like a heart piece so it, or some money, so it tends to be more worthwhile. Yep. That was a piece of heart. Go that way! And can't go that way! Maybe I can leave outside of Hyrule Town. Just because you have a sword and shield doesn't mean you'll be safe. I can't let you out there alone that one until you know some sword techniques. Okay, so we gotta go talk to the sword guy. I come from a faraway land. You can tell by my clothing, can't you? Uh... I think this first guy will teach us the spin attack. It's an empty house. Ah, here we are. I am Swiftblade, finest swordsman in all of Hyrule. If you train with me, I guarantee that you will increase your skill dramatically. So, would you like to train here, please? No thanks. We shall start with the most basic of all techniques. I shall teach you the spin attack. First, press and hold your sword button. Second, build up enough power. Third, release your destructive might. That's all, young swordsman. Do you understand? Haha, uh, you are very good, you're a quick student, but one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I will now possess your body as to demonstrate the technique. I call the Swift Blade Possession Technique of Training. What's this? Your possession! Phew! Now you must try it yourself. Press and hold your sword button, build up enough power, then release your destructive mic. That's all there is to it. Yes, fine work. You're a quick study. I will now give you this tiger scroll. If you ever forget this technique, you can review it with the scroll. You may view it any time from the quest status search screen. Alright. <laughs> Just launch him up there. <laughs> Ooh.
Oh, so you've learned the spin attack? It's still dangerous, but maybe you can handle it. Let's see how well you do. Show me the spin attack. Yeah, that's the one. But there are monsters out there, kid. You just make sure you're careful. And this is the Trilby Highlands. Okay, we need something else for that. Uh, that's what the Minish Blade actually does, is that it allows you to pass through those areas. Alright, and here's Mount Krennel. And I'm realizing now I have to go back to Hy uh, uh, Hyrule Castle because... Here we can get a bottle. The, the first bottle is in the town. Yep, just leave people explosive presents everywhere. <laughs> Fresh fruit. How do you come get your fresh veggies? All of that is a puzzle that can be solved later, so... This is the cafe! The Swords Hall. This is the store. House. Those are both houses. That's the inn. Huh. Maybe we get the bottle somewhere out here then. this. Okay, you got me. I'll make it up to you by telling you something good. A friend of mine in that cave just east of here in Trilby Highlands has an item. If you're planning on going up Mount Crenel, I think you might need it. I won't get you to the top, but it might just give you a start. missed this the first time. Okay, you got me. I'll make it up to you. You can have this most deluxe of all bottles for only 20 rupees. So what do you say, huh? Sure. Alright, there we go. Thanks a lot. And that's where we get the first bottle.
Alright. And that will grow the thing. Alright, and... That'd be great if I had some, uh, bombs. Maybe there's some here. Oh, I guess I need something to climb that wall, though. Uh... Please tell me he sells bombs. Okay, you got me. I'll make it up to you by selling you bombs. Ten of them for 30 rupees. But what do you say, huh? Sure. Thanks a lot. So this perfectly normal looking cell was another portal to the Minish World. There may be other rock portals. Keep looking your eyes peeled, boy. at Mount Crenel water in your bottle. It's piping hot. Once you pulled off their NRS, those guys are no trouble whatsoever. Alright. 
Mm -hmm. Ah, of course, how silly of me. Hey, my boy, jump into that little worm over there for me. <laughs> I wonder, is this a great idea or a terrible one? That given how many heart containers they give you so early on in the game, that the difficulty would start to scale with the amount of extra heart containers you get, but it doesn't. I don't know if I've ever used a fairy when I played this before, so... I wasted my Mount Crenel water by accident. So, I have to go back, grab it. More Mount Crenel water, that is. And we shrink! Yeah, bomb salesman, we don't need to talk to him for a little while. Get rid of the keys. No!
Yes! Give him a present. Green clothes and an odd hat? Sir, might you be young Link? I am Malari, Master Smith. I hear you want me to reforge the sacred sword and help break a curse. I'll be needing this old sword which holds the power of the elements first. Show me that broken Pecori blade. I love all this adventure, what with the rescuing of princess and such. I'd be happy to reforge this thing into a brand new sacred blade for you. It'll take me a while to rework your sword. In the meantime, you should track down the missing elements. One of them should be in the mine the humans dug. It's not far from here. Alright, let's get started. Hey. It'll be a while, Link. Let's leave them to it and find that element. Alright, so there is a way to go specifically here. What? You're going to the mine? If you've talked to the boss, I won't stop you, but be careful. <laughs> Alright, let me, uh... Go here. And... Here we go. And now we're in the Cave of Flames. Wow, it's hot in here. Come on, let's not stand around wasting time. Find that element so we can get out of here. It's not so hot that you'll take damage from um, spending time in here like you would in Ocarina of Time. The thing I can do in that room. Then I use the bombs to get into here. Your sword won't make a dent in their thorny armor. Flip them over before you strike. And to flip them over, you need to actually use the shield. So there is a lot of equipment uh, switching in this version of the game, you know? And that would be the dungeon mat. Oh, that's the compass. Never mind. No! But we can get rid of the like like. None of those are vulnerable walls. Just hang around in here. Someone can go over here. Alright, this must be what the humans who built this mine used to get around in here. Maybe we should hop in. Hmm? What? After all this, you don't expect me to believe you're scared? There's nothing to be afraid of here. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Sweet jumping jellyfish, that was awful. Hey kid, what are you smiling about? I knew it was madness to risk our lives in that rickety human contraption. From now on, let's just stick to our feet. Well, I mean, your feet.
least you'll never run out of equipment. Interesting, so there was a portal hidden away in here, hmm? Whenever you want me to shrink you, just blah blah blah! Okay, well, there's only one way to go, so we'll go down here. Alright, and this is a dungeon map. Let's not forget this. It looks really, really hot in that lava. Trust me, falling into that would be a bad idea. Yeah, that would have been great advice. Like Ten seconds ago. We gotta use the wind to our advantage here. Alright. Push this over here. Press that button. Small key, we can open the store. Walk across the tracks here and switch the tracks. One of them.
right? And here's the mini boss. Spiky ball slimes. Pachi. The mystical rod has the power to flip things over. Use it to charge up the energy and holes and then flip out of it. Whoops. Alright, there are only two face buttons here. Hey kid, why don't you take out that cane of Pachi and fire it at the hole? I mean, you'll never know what'll happen if you try, if you try right? The reason Ezlo isn't as annoying as Navi is not because Ezlo is somehow better than Navi, but because you can skip the dialogue sections. And here's another small key. go that way after switching the tracks. I don't know what that is. Oh, you know what? They're probably uh, spikes that have been retracted. the hole, retract the wall, and I go over this way, and there's a key or a heart in here. I can't get to that yet. Ah, that's how you get to it. Oh, it was a kinstone piece. And uh, another 
against him. The boss key is up there, we can see it. We just need to get to it. I will flip that over and we won't get on it just yet. That's why. And we'll wait for that to come back around so that we can go down to get to the area with the boss key. Looks like I still need to uh, grab these bottles. Things aren't just going my way this time. Before I go over there, I want to see what's in this room. Glad to know that that was completely not worth my time. He was a waste of health right there. Just... 
And in we go. Uh, just in case there's another one of those. Actually... That might be a guaranteed drop there. So, if I pick this up... It is! I can put a fairy in a bottle. Alright, there we go. Down we go. Oh wow, that was terrible. I can't control that if I get hit directly by the flames. Let me uh, do that one more time. I can't control Link when he's on fire like that. Wait a minute, that made no sense.
I can only hit him two times. Well, he must be close to death. He just destroyed two-thirds of the entirety of the screen. dead yet yeah I have no control of link Element of fire. Embodiment of power. Let's get out of here. <laughs> 